Hello boys and girls, how are you doing today? Great! I am here with my pet dinosaur Rexy to learn about word problems and addition. I have a problem that I could use your help with. Will you help me? Thank you so much. Let's go over and take a look. Rexy, please don't eat the slide. Rexy, down boy, down. Oh man, not again. Word problems are just math problems that tell a story. So today we're going to read a story with a math problem and see if we can find some different ways to show the problem. This is our problem, and it says, Three people go to a picnic in cars. Two more people go to the picnic on bikes. There are five people all together at the picnic. Now I was told it is always a good idea to read it twice to make sure I understand what is going on in the story. Let's read it again. Three people go to a picnic in cars. Two more people go to the picnic on bikes. There are five people all together at the picnic. I need to make a math equation from this, but first, let's see if we can draw a picture that goes with this math problem. It says there were three people that went to the picnic in cars. Now I do not have time to draw people, but there is a way to make it shorter. We are going to use circle drawings because it will go much faster. I am going to draw three circles for the three people who went to the picnic in cars. Then it tells us that two more people went to the picnic on bikes. I am going to put a break apart line right here to separate the people who went in cars from the people who went in bikes. There were two people who went on bikes, so we have two circles for those people. Now we have a picture that tells us a little bit about the story. We have the three circles on the left that show three people went in cars, and on the right we have the two circles showing the people who went on bikes. If I count each one of these, I will find out that there were five people in all who went to the picnic. One, two, three, four, five. I believe that is correct, but I need to write a math equation that goes with my word problem and my picture. If you do not know already, an equation is a math sentence. So let's go ahead and write an equation. We had three people who went to the picnic in cars, and we had two people that went on bikes. I want to know how many there are together, so I will put a plus sign in the middle to add these together. I will also put an equal sign because all good math sentences usually have an equal sign. So if I add these together, I know that there are five people who went to the picnic. Here is our equation. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Great job, kids! If you look, you can see that I have words that tell the story, I have a picture that tells the story, and now I have numbers or an equation that tells the story for this problem. I wonder if there is another way I can illustrate or show this problem. I know, what if we did a math mountain? Here is a math mountain, and if you remember, the total always goes on top of the mountain. What is the total amount of people who went to the picnic? Five. Great job, guys! The partners or the bottom parts of the mountain will be what numbers? The three and two are the partners at the bottom of the mountain. Great job again! And we already know if we add the partners together, we get the total. Awesome job, guys! Wow, guys, look at this. We now have three different ways of showing the word problem. We have a circle drawing, we have an equation with numbers, and we also have a math mountain. This is awesome! I can use these methods to help me figure out other word problems. Thanks for helping me today, and we will see you later. Goodbye! Slow down, Rexy. Slow down. Whoa, down, boy. Whoa! Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.